Hi, welcome to Lancashire Cat Wrestling. I'm just going to go over the scaffold one more time, but we're going to do it in proper breakdown. With these videos, we don't do, with these three YouTube videos, we don't go into detailed breakdown. But because we've had a few responses and just want to know a bit more about it, and a few people think that you can't escape it if someone's got it on very tight as a wrestler would, then you won't be able to escape it. It's going to be hard. So we're just going to go over this one more time, broken down. But if you do want proper breakdowns, you have to join the Lancashire Cats Wrestling. Um, elite course. So if he's got me in a scaffold position, I'm just going to talk about a few things. So if the cameraman, the camera lady, sorry, <laughs> wants to zoom, come in a bit on this position. So the first thing we're going to talk about is getting shoulder locks right there. Now, if my hand, when I go to go for the back bridge like that, if my if my right arm, what's exposed, is on top, then this comes out. That's when the arm locks you or shoulder lock right there. Now, if this comes this way, you see how my elbow turns in. Instead of being that on top, turn this inwards like this and grab this. Now try and put on an arm lock. Try, try, try. No, it's not moving. Right, also at the same time when he's got this in tight, nice and tight, right there. When I've got this in here, I'm digging this into his ribs right there. I'm grinding it in. <coughs> so that's a shock. So get this on nice and tight now. Pop it tight. So from there, all I'm gonna do, without the, um, in fact, I'm gonna do it with the shock of a bridge. <coughs> yeah? And again. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Tight, tight. Yeah. So I'm not trying to wiggle around. Not much can do, my head's off the mat. So I'm gonna do, just gonna come in here. I'm gonna do this nice and slow, get it on tight, tight one. I'm gonna do it slow. Yeah. Right there. Now what? One more time. Just from back, basic wrestling. Nice and tight. Watch this. Just from there. Get this nice and tight. Guys. Watch this. Not even reinforcing it. Just with one hand. And again. Now, like I said, if this goes on top, he will arm lock me. I don't want this on top. Watch my elbow. This one's at the bottom. Elbow in. Put an arm lock on. A shoulder lock. Come on. No. He's not doing it, yeah? Like I said, one hand. One hand. Just just, just to show you. So when I do this with the shock, nice and tight, nice and tight. When I just do this with the shock, you ain't putting on no shoulder lock and it is hard. Now, one thing I just want to show as well, I'm going to show how heavy I am and how heavy he is. So, put on this one, nice and flat. I've right, got scales there. Wait for it to come on. <laughs> there we are. Right. Look, look how heavy I am. 90, 90.6 90 kg. I'm 90.6 kg. Look how heavy Mark is. 96.1 kg. So Mark's got nearly six kgs on top of me. Like I said, so it's got nothing to do with me being bigger on the bottom, he's much heavier. He's got six kgs, I'm nearly six kgs on me. One more time. Nice and tight. Get my head in your chest. That's it, nice and tight. Can you go for the arm lock? No. Nope. nope. Okay, so we're fighting. We're trying to get this loose. Oh, right there. Okay, is there anything you want to add to that? Yeah, um, 
the detail of the pinch on the ribs is the killer that really hurts and uh, you forget about countering everything you're not even bothering about a shoulder lock on our boy and the arm that's around the head when you bridge on your head it rolls over my bicep and causes pain on my other arm as well so it's very painful when you do it properly yeah yeah there's no stopping it yeah like i said with the previous video <coughs> it's just a quick run through we don't we don't do breakdowns on these but i just wanted to do this one broke down because a couple comments was left saying if the guys got you properly how a wrestler would do it you're not going to be able to get it things like that so i just wanted to show a little bit more detail when the guy has got it nice and tight that it can be done i did it with one hand all you're doing is just doing your back neck bridges from back neck bridges go down even in this position right here i've seen people do i'm going to try and put on so I'm going to turn to the front of the neck right there. You can back, back bridge, back bridge. Go back. The front crank here. Yeah, you can. Go back there. One more. Stand up. I'm going to whip you over. Under, over. Bridge. So you're up there, and I had him in this position right there. I had him in a neck cramp position. So from doing basic back neck bridges, go on. Basic wrestling, just basic neck bridges, and you can get out of it. Okay, thank you very much.